Hello, how are you both? What's happening, Greg? Greg from the B. What's happening? Doing well. Good to see you. Likewise. Good to see Good to you as seen. always. Got to just start, I mean, very intense movie. And Sandra, I just have to ask you, I mean, just even what, what it was like just performing this where Ruth, you know, gets out. She's just trying to get her life back to some type of semblance of normalcy. But for some reason, people just wouldn't let her, would they? Mm -hmm. That's the case for millions and millions and millions of people every day. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the thing that I learned along the way was um, something you can't unsee, which is what I'm blessed with, with my birthright, had nothing to do with me. Um, so many human beings are born into poverty without resources and they make sacrifices every single day to survive for their family and no one makes a movie about them. Right. And, and they are the backbone of our lives, of our world, of our country. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love the fact that it's, you know, this social commentary, this undertone is, is couched in, um, I think something that hopefully will be incredibly watchable and commercial and thrilling. And you go, oh, we're gonna have a great murder mystery. And we're gonna have a ride. And at the end, you ask yourself, oh my God, what would I have done? What would I have done the same thing in the same position if I'd been in her shoes, you know? Right, oh, no, you're absolutely right. Like I said, I'm not, obviously not gonna say anything, but yeah, when you got to the end, it's like, oh, it just yeah. kinda, you know, blows yeah. you away. Yeah. Did you then, cry, right? Greg? Did huh? you cry? Did you cry? I don't Did you get a little teary eyed? No, I mean, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I need Tito with a tissue. Tito. You, you know, <laughs> and Rob, I got to say this. I love it that you've got this nice, big, beautiful smile because did you smile once in the movie? I mean, I know your guy was intense, but he was just. <laughs> a little bit. Well, a little bit. Hey, it was a lot at stake for me, uh, Vince Cross, and making sure that Ruth Slater got the necessary gems to keep from going back into uh, jail. I wanted to keep my recidivism rate low. So if I knew if I flashed this smile at her, she might have took it another way. So I had to keep it like, you know, hey. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a very thin line to play. It's sort of like you could say or do something and it could trigger her. You know, at least from my research, I was just finding out how sensitive the line is mm -hmm. when you're dealing with, some, especially someone who just did 20 years. Mm -hmm. 20 years, man. You know, that's that's some sensitive material. So yeah, I tried to really be stern but at the same time giving of what was necessary for her to survive but not be comfortable right because for the most part to an extent you were like her only friend if you know what i mean you know the yeah. character only lifeline the only voices. voices yeah mm -hmm. and yeah. then there's so many you know very powerful scenes but one that really just sticks out to me sandra is with you and viola davis on the front yard or in the front yard mm -hmm. when you guys go at each other Ooh. that would no one else other than Viola Davis. When we all sat down, we were casting. Oddly, every single one of us came up with Viola's name at the very top. There was no one else in the number one position. Then it was like, you fall in love and then nothing else will work. Um, Viola comes with such power and humanity as a mother that that the moment when she comes out and she's protecting her children and she tells this woman who's invading her, her house and her family and her husband's life and, and putting her children at risk, it, it's what the mama bear does. And you have two women fighting for the right to be the parent they thought they were, that they thought they should be. Um, and it's a standoff of what's the truth, what's the undercurrent, what's really being said, and how do they then see each other at the beginning and how do they view each other at the end of that argument? And that only a mother could see and understand when you got to the end of that information. And she just is, there's a reason that whatever Viola Davis does, you just sit back and your mouth is open. Your heart is shattered. You are in love with her. She's sexy. She is strong. She is complicated. She's, it's just, you know, it's a woman who was destined to convey story and to make us forget and make us transform and transport um she just is power and in powerful uh, in ways that i i don't have enough words to express so just that moment when we were right in the middle of covid and to have shields and not know how we can i couldn't hug her i'm a hugger i can't eloquently but i like to hug and hold people to say i see you i appreciate you and when i couldn't do that and all we were doing was yelling at each other 
it felt so disconnected and, and unnatural to me. It was really uncomfortable. It worked for the scene, but I couldn't at the end of the scene give her a hug going, thank you, I'm sorry, you know, not, none of that. It was a very weird time for us all. Right, right. Well, thank you both very, very much for the time. Enjoyed talking with you and enjoyed this movie. You know, mm -hmm. that way and a big virtual hug to both of you then. Thank you, thank you all so right. much. Thank you. Take care. Vincent, how are you? Hi, Greg, how are you, man? Good, good to see you. Always been an admirer of your work very much. Thank you, sir. And also in this one, I mean, this is uh, definitely a, when I say tough movie, because it's kind of like every person in the movie has some sort of damage and they're all kind of working together in some ways. I mean, like your character right in the beginning saw that Sandra's character had problems, didn't he? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, he recognizes um, uh, that she's going through some kind of trauma and uh, I, you know, I modeled my character. I had a kind of backstory for myself that he was had been in the military, okay. and that yeah, and so that's how he recognizes her PTS, you know. Yeah, because uh, and then also you are married to Viola Davis in this uh, movie, and yeah. it's kind of like you know what I mean when I say this. You already see who's the head of the household. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she's she's just amazing. I don't, there's there's. I can't say more uh, enough about her. You know, it's like she's just amazing. One of the one of the um, important things that that we had to achieve in the in the, as playing husband and wife was that there was a real um, allegiance between the two of us, a real connection as husband and wife, even though we disagreed on the particular subject. And so it was, uh, you know, that was really fun to play with her because, you know, she's just we talked about it and she, you know. Um, and so we knew that both of us had to bring it and that feeling and, 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 and you know, she's just so great to work with. We achieved it and, and it works in the film, I think. Oh, no, absolutely. Because even with what you just said, that is a real marriage, you know, when both people can yeah. get together and work together. And, you know, yeah. everybody always thinks, oh, it's going to be Ward and June Kleber. No, you know, that's no. not happening. No. Yeah. But, you know, get, get the two together who can do their thing and like you said, it'll all work out, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Because little did you guys know when you bought that house, you're thinking, wow, great house. What a deal. And, right. then, you know, just to find out later why. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that, you know, the, I think that especially in this day and age, um, I think it's important to understand that people can disagree with each other and still respect each other, you know, highly. You know, it can go from just friendships to marriages and, you know, just your neighbor. You know what I mean? It, 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 I think it's important, you know. Right. And also in this movie, uh, we see so many twists and turns. I mean, obviously not to give anything away, but I mean, it's kind of like you go through the story and you wind up just kind of going, wow, you know, with certain things, that, you know, we see happening. So that yeah. makes it for an interesting ride for the viewer. Yeah, totally. I mean, I, that's why the film works, I think, is because it, it's it's about second chances. It's about family bonds and stuff, you know, but it's also a thriller. It's also has an entertainment value, you know. Nope, that's it's a really good movie, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. definitely will tell my friends to watch it and make sure cool. they do get out there and see it. And also, as I did mention to the director, I'll say this real quick, because it was kind of like not many people, nobody was really smiling in the movie, not that there was anything per se to smile about. So I asked her, I said, when you called cut, did most of the cast members just kind of go and just smile? <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I mean, it's up, it's up to us. You know, the, the, when we're like, when you get a, a bunch of actors on a set, you know, it's up to us to, we, we have to carry the vibe from take, take, take. So sometimes, sometimes we lighten things up. Sometimes it's not enough, you know, it's not, it's not a good idea to do that. But yeah, you know, yes, uh, Viola and I had a good time in between takes. Yeah. Yeah. At times. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Vincent, thank you so much for your time uh, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Take care. Hi, Greg. Hi, Nora. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I've got to say, this is actually uh, something very special. Two days in a row interviewing two female directors. So, I mean, it's like fabulous. That's great. 
Now, now I've got to ask you about this movie. I mean, obviously very intense, very, you know, a lot of things going on. Talk a little bit about that because for the most part, every character has some sort of damage to them in this film, don't they? It's true and it's a very good point that, that you bring up because each character is connected by that same trauma, by that one event that happened that is caused by Ruth. And um, each character has a different way of dealing with them. And you know, each, each character is also seeing Ruth in a different way. And they reflect us as the audience and are maybe like different thoughts of does she deserve a second chance or not? You know, should she be given one or not? And um, Vincent's and Viola's character, even though they're married, have a very different view on that. And um, then Katie's parents who made the choice of not telling Katie about Ruth and maybe harming their, their, their daughter at the same time they wanted to do the right thing and protect her. And for us, it was important that each character is very ambivalent, has something good and bad to them so that it's not a story about the good guys and the bad guys. No, also the bad guys are very hurt. No, that, that's for sure. And then also one scene that really sticks out and since you mentioned Viola's name, talk a little about it's near the end, but it's where she and Sandra are going, you know, verbally at it in the front yard. I mean, that was very intense. Yes, I mean, that is just a director's dream coming true, to be honest, you know, working with, you know, Sandra Bullock and Viola Davis, and um, we prepared the scene well, you know, we really turned around every stone, like every line, is it necessary here, is it necessary there, we did a little rehearsal on set the day before, but then when it comes to shooting, to that real emotions, you just let go, you step back and let go and make sure you film it right. So that it, you know, that it is captured those right moments. And then knowing, you know, some of the people, of course, we've seen through other movies and all like that. For the most part, no one really smiles, you know, in this one. Did it ever come when you said cut that everybody all of a sudden was like, oh, wow, yes, I can smile. For sure. Um, it, it happens a lot. Yet it is very important that Ruth is so close at the beginning of this film and that throughout the movie, we slowly see her opening up, you know, and when she has that great scene with the John Bernthal in the car and he makes her smile for the first time, it's like the sun rises. No, no, that is just half a smile. <laughs> you know, a little smirk. Yeah, that was, it was right. Any of that is like, oh, great. I can see some, you yeah. know. Some emotion. Yeah, exactly. That's for sure. <laughs> and then, I mean, you know, there are so many different twists and turns. I mean, there's certain parts where you're watching, you think, I know what's going to be happening, and you don't, yeah. which is really great. Yeah, it's really the process also in the editing. It's almost like Patriots or Jenga. If you have a story that, has so many characters and a uh, main character that is so silent. That is really the question of the memories. How much do we give away at what point? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And what I'm getting ready to say right now is not going to be in the interview. So don't worry. It's not, you know, the spoiler. But absolutely, I'm looking for it to go. And when it ended the way it did, it's like, wow, very unique. So very Great. good. Thanks, Greg. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. Take care. You too.